All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Today, in this video, we're working on Casey's Customs 1969 Chevy Blazer, and we make some very big progress all while battling the rainstorm. So let's stick around and check it out. All right, so before we get started on that, we've got some moving we need to do, moving all this stuff. We got everything just kind of mismatched. So I'm gonna move the trailer, move that truck, move the van, put my truck here. That way I can use that truck for mounts on the camera so y'all can see what I'm working on. And I don't know, we're just gonna try to get some stuff resituated a little better so we're not all mixed up and everything. Say hello to my friend. He needs a name. What should I name him? All right, also Casey sent over this uh, Silas, I guess is the name of it. It's like Dynamap, basically. Uh, it's sound deadener slash heat uh, insulation. You can put it on floors, put it on whatever. It kind of cuts down on road noise, which not that that'll matter on this because obviously it doesn't have a top, but it'll work for heat. Everything's a lot closer to a hot stuff since it's channeled and body drop so we're just gonna use this and kind of start going over our floor and covering everything up <laughs> And that's what you end up with it's a pretty good look and then that just allows for whoever to put carpet or whatever they want to i think for the console i think i'm gonna use regular uh like seam sealer like a polyurethane or some kind of seam sealer on the corners here and then sand this down smooth finish welding it finish it up better you know shape it better and stuff and then i'll probably put like a bed liner or something on this um, something a little more, I don't know, durable or finished product, you know, I don't know. We'll see. All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. As you can see, it's the next morning. And as you can also see, it is way less than ideal weather conditions here in Northeast Kansas. So we had to improvise. Don't have room in the garage for this yet. So we got out the old Summit Racing canopy. And me and the littles out here working on stuff getting it dried off i got this side done where we were uh at i still got to do that side but i think right now i'm gonna get this all dried up try to get it warmed up a little bit and then go ahead and finish closing this in and doing some welding and getting this finished and then we'll move on to that side i got a couple things i need to weld there i need to make a new kick panel for it get that welded in and then i can cover that side with sound deadener too and then we can move on to this the back area so enjoy the show
I'm sure you remember this uh, harness kind of got torched. We're uh, fixing that. I've only got one wire I have to add from the hot side over here and tie into the harness where there's a splice to go into and feed the main fuse panel and stuff inside. So I've got the wire. That's what I'm about to work on doing now. And then uh, as you can see, we moved the harness and rerouted it a little bit cleaner spot and got it all zip tied and secured. So now naturally I get to undo all that, splice this in and then redo all that. So stand by. put back in I've just got it turned temporarily over there I've got to still put a ring on it and get it actually connected the way it goes but so now that we got it running that means we can uh, move it around if we need to and uh, I'm not making very fast progress on this because somehow my batteries for my tools have gotten lost and uh, I'm having a use up a battery and then go charge it and use up a battery go charge it so i'm about to go tear the house apart tear the shop apart see if i can't find my other batteries and then uh see if i can make a little bit more progress on that before this video comes out you can see i just had that wire stuck in there it's actually going to be over to the ring here see our bags working nah uh, i don't know we'll see how far we get you can also see that i've gotten this mostly welded out there's still a few pits and stuff that I'll fill either with some kind of filler before I paint it or I'll go back and weld some more and grind some more but we're getting there making some progress getting where we need to be on this thing all right so when we put this curve in this we uh had a little bit of a lip sticking up we weren't real sure exactly what we were going to do back here yet but now I kind of got a plan so I just went ahead and cut the lip off here all the way across now i'm getting ready to add a few more supports in here and uh go ahead and get this thing floored out hopefully to match the front and then that'll be all the floor work i'm doing uh i don't know that i'm going to do any bead rolling on this but i might i don't know we just gotta see how i feel i don't really have a lot of sheet metal so if i mess up i don't want to have to go buy more so we'll see but i'll let y'all check this out So that's the framework we got built in here. I'm gonna give us something to set our piece of metal on. And then this will be the same height as that back piece. And then we'll have a little piece coming up. Be able to get all this closed in. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna bead roll this. I'm really not good with the bead roller. Uh, so we've got that done. I need to finish grounding this. I need to finish grounding that. I need to finish welding this. Welding that, weld across, grind all of that smooth. And then put the last piece over the tunnel right there it'll probably end up being a couple of pieces but we got to do that too all right i know it's dark i don't know how much you can see but basically what we're doing is we've got to close in this piece here and rather than kind of measure it because none of this stuff is like exactly perfect i am making a template with poster board So I'm laying the poster board out, I'm filling the area. Like so. And then taping the pieces together. With this blue tape. And then once I get it all 
shaped and cut where I want it. Then I'll transfer that piece over onto a piece of sheet metal. I'll cut it out and then I'll lay that piece in here. I'll lay out some B-roll in it if I'm gonna do that. I really don't know that I'm gonna do that. Uh, but I'll lay it out on here and then weld it. like you can see she fits the corners good she goes side to side I really wanted to get this piece all in one single piece I didn't want to split it down the middle where you can see the seam so now I'll take this I'll transfer it over to the 18 gauge that's leaned up in there I'll cut that all out and then uh, we can get this piece put in and then that'll be the final piece of like flooring that I have to do I have one little like inch and a half by two and a quarter piece over here in the corner that I have to do. And then I gotta make one more kick panel. Once I make that kick panel, I get all that front of that firewall and stuff all welded. Then I'm done with the floor. I just gotta do the tunnel piece, get this covered with whatever he wants it covered with. I'm probably only gonna do the sound deadener on the front portion and then he can figure out the rest of it. Um, I got this console rounded and welded on the whole back half of it. And then I got this rounded part here done. So now I just have to continue welding this, weld this, weld this, grind all that down and clean it up. And then I'll be ready to uh, put a little finishing touches on that. That's where we're at. It's getting dark. See y'all in the morning. All right, well, I had a uh, tooth pulled today. So kind of bear with me, but now I'm back. I'm going to get started back on this. Uh, I'm going to use the back of the blazer as like a stand to cut the metal or mark the metal and cut it. So I'm about to just get that set up and get this raised up out of the way. And then uh, we'll get that set up and transfer our template and we'll cut it out so we can finish this floor. <laughs>
you transfer the stencil and cut the stencil out <clears throat> and you gotta go test with it see how it fits See, it fits pretty dang good. I'm happy with this gap. I'm not super thrilled with the way this corner worked out, but I can always fill that with weld and grind it. Same thing over here. Same thing here. Close that in, and then uh, all it'll be is one more little strip there. I know my lap, my talking is super goofy I've got dolls in my mouth but there we go so now that's ready to tack up weld up get ready to seam seal and do all the fun stuff to it I'm also going to use that poster board to go ahead and make me a uh, kick panel down here figure while we're on the sheet metal kick before we get to welding we might as well make all the pieces we need and then I'll do a little welding the kick panel done we got the little corner piece done that's been irritating me this whole time we got this in and done so now uh i'm gonna jump over and get all the sound deadener heat shield stuff done i've got uh, my daughter's basketball game tonight so we'll see how far we get on this <laughs> but um i'll check back in and kind of show you what we ended up with all the way around and then uh before I close out the video and stuff. So, enjoy.
y'all so there you have it we got the kick panel in we got the firewall closed off other than that one piece above the tunnel right there we got to finish closing that in i'm really dreading that piece that's why i'm waiting till last we made some big progress on the console got the back half completely welded out and all this cleaned up um we got the sound deadener in on both sides and i only brought them back to roughly here because i still got to do some work back here to get this stuff finished up um, i also got this big major piece in this was the last big piece of flooring that we needed still got to do a little strip across the front um, i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to do that yet so we'll figure that out but we made some very very good progress we also got this thing running again i added the hot wire that we needed to uh, make that happen and I just ran out of time i gotta get to basketball for my oldest daughter and uh, i want to try to get this video out before the week really gets rolling so that's where we're at as always thanks so much for watching sorry it took so long to get these videos out it's been a crazy few weeks and i feel like i say that every time but it is what it is but we finally made some progress hopefully y'all enjoyed watching and uh on the next video we're going to build some custom bumper brackets we're going to finish closing this in we're gonna finally finish that tunnel and then uh get ready to get this thing taken back to casey that's it for now thanks for watching and uh see you on the next one if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to click subscribe give me a like give me a comment tell me whether you whether you love it tell me whether you hate it uh i'll take it off